I firmly believe that everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. Everyone sees the work that you put in, but it's what you don't see is going to determine how far you're going to get. Action is what builds confidence. It doesn't start with belief. The real way, the real way for most of us is not to wait to believe, but to push ourselves to act and through the action you will build the belief. All the time people say, oh, look in the mirror and you'll see why you're not succeeding. I don't believe that. It's what you don't see in the mirror. That's what's holding you back. It's what you're not willing to see is why talent is not enough. And when you, when you finally see it and accept it and decide to work on it, then you can take that next level. But if you are constantly looking outside of yourself and you don't latch on to your gift, you will never find your purpose. If you want to succeed, you must commit to your own gift and embrace it. Now this is how you know you're not living in your gift. If when the alarm clock goes off in the morning and you ain't happy about it, you ain't doing what you want to do. See, you're fighting upstream. You're going against what God created you for. If your job makes you sick to go to, if you're unhappy with waking up to go to where you got to go, it's because you ain't living in your gift. Some people are born to be teachers, caregivers, nurses, babysitters. Those are gifts. If you're living in your gift, you're cool. It's just if you ain't. If, like if you fry chicken better than everybody else, you should be somewhere frying chicken. If you do hair better than everybody else, you should be somewhere doing somebody's hair. Those are gifts. Telling jokes was a gift. They're just not just running, jumping. If you paint, you should be painting. If babysitting is what you really do, you should be babysitting. You're doing anything. If you fix cars, you work with your hands, you're supposed to be working with your hands. You do anything else, when that alarm clock go off in the morning, you ain't gonna like it. Now, if you waking up, you going down there, they ain't paying you what you want, you hate your coworkers, you down there, your boss has no business being your boss. I just never, I just never thought that anybody should be in charge of me. I always saw myself free. I just want to come to work. This is all I want to do. Bishop Jake said this, that I would hate to die and never do the thing I was born to do. You should look into that before you mess around and check out of here. I think everyone can always, you know, brush up on their technique. It is, you know, what we do is, it takes a lot of research. It take, I mean, if you really want to inhabit a role, it takes a, it takes a lot of work and training, and I think it's incredibly important to constantly, no matter what, how, how successful you are, it's incredibly important.